All right, my friends, welcome to the first of three lessons uh, for the Health Hacker Masterclass training. My name is TJ Anderson. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the recent author of a book called The Art of Health Hacking. So I am a health hacker, a health coach, behavior change specialist, and I wrote this book to empower high performers to truly take their health, energy, and performance into their own hands. And so now through this training and the six week uh, group mastermind I'll be holding uh, in the next, uh, in two weeks, November 5th, I'm here to help you all put the book into action and elevate your state of health and performance. So I would love to, uh, we'll let some people hop on the call here. Uh, this will be about an hour and a half, two hours. We are recording this. So if you can make it live, it is best. If you are able to make it live, if you're watching this recording, great, we'd love, love to have you. Make sure you check out the action guide. So the action guide, we'll have it posted in the Facebook group, the Elevate Your State uh, Health Hacker Book Club Facebook group, and it's also in the emails. So if you're getting emails, awesome. You can find the action guide for this lesson one in the emails, as well as the Facebook group. If you're not getting emails, go ahead and uh, let us know if you're interested in wanting to join that community to stay in the loop on this. Uh, you can go ahead and comment in the chat box uh, of the Facebook Live uh, and the Zoom call. So again, TJ Anderson here. I've got my red light, uh, one of the health hacks that I'd happily share with you guys here. I'm in Boulder, Colorado right now. The sun is setting, um, and I got my uh, day walker blue blockers on, blocking some blue light here. Um, and I got a great whiteboard that will be going through uh, tonight's first training on how to health hack holistically. You know, as, as, as I get started here with you guys, I, the first thing I want to highlight is that how you hack your health can hurt you. It, it, it can. And, and I've been there before and I've hacked, biohacked my body a bit too much at times. Actually, uh, a story that you may have already read if you've gotten a copy of the book and read in the book. Uh, I went to the emergency room after experimenting with some of the more well-known, like, like uh, biohacks that people claim to be really healthy of our time uh, actually turned out to be a perfect storm for me and my own health. And, and that is a combination of uh, diet, um, lifestyle, and um, caffeine content. So um, I, I actually, uh, I'll, I'll maybe get into the story in more detail later, but I went to the emergency room after experimenting with a, a ketogenic diet, if you're familiar with that, and too much caffeine, and I was working out hard, I was writing this book and working full-time for another company, burning the candle at both ends, uh, and it was, I like to say it was the perfect storm. So <laughs> I learned a lot from that experience, and I shared a lot about what I learned inside the book. Um, what's up, Chad? Chad's on the call, John Bowers, great to have you guys. Um, Jamie, welcome to the call. Uh, and I'm here to help you guys prevent the mistakes that I made in my own health, and to really learn how I thrive with more energy, mental clarity, and uh, I don't know the last time I've been sick, it's been a good couple of years, um, but just overall, like what it takes to focus on our health and at our busy lifestyles. So I'm here for those high performers, those busy hard workers, whether you got a career going, uh, uh, or running your own business, you have a, a full family to, to care for, uh, I get it, I, I know life can be overwhelming and challenging, so uh, I would love to hear from you. Put it in the chat box. Um, um, I would love to, to hear a comment from you about, you know, what are, uh, like why is your health important to you? Let's, let's start off with that uh, as more people hop on uh, tonight's call. So uh, yeah, go ahead and put in the chat box in the Facebook Live, in the Facebook group. Again, the Elevate Your State Facebook group or the Zoom call. Uh, why is your health important to you? Let's just kick it off uh, with that right there uh, as we let more people log into the call. So we got, uh, yeah, we got some, uh, got some comments coming in. Good, good, good. Welcome, uh, welcome to the call, guys. I know Ken, Ken Brown is here. Uh, great client, awesome. Good, just got off the phone with you, Ken. Um, great to hear how things are rolling for you and your lifestyle. Um, so yeah, tonight we're gonna be going over how to hack holistically. So what does that mean to approach 
health hacking and biohacking in a holistic way. I wrote this book basically as a result of how I felt I was called to evolve and support the biohacking, the quantified self, and the longevity movements to really support it with a sustainable behavior change model. So how can we really support people with like having a smart approach to behavior change where they don't get too overwhelmed and they're still making progress. So tonight we're gonna talk about how you can do that in a smart, sustainable, holistic way. Uh, basically, this is what I found. You know, most high performers have the desire for better health, less stress, and sustainable energy, but they wanna do it without getting too overwhelmed or losing focus on your work, business, or family life. Um, if that's you, if, if you can relate and resonate with that, go ahead and raise your hand, um, so to speak, and go ahead and uh, put, a, put a note uh, and say, yes, that's me in the chat box of the Zoom call or in the, uh, uh, in the uh, Facebook Live, in the Facebook group. So if, if that's you, if you desire better health, less stress, more sustainable energy without getting too overwhelmed or losing focus, on your work, business, or family life, that's who I'm here for. Uh, we've got a great community that we've been building around the book and through the book. Um, and I've been teaching people a lot of these concepts for a while, but some of them are new. Some of these are fresh that people haven't been able to leverage yet. And so the solution, what I'm here to bring you today to help solve that problem of really focusing on health and energy and less stress without losing focus on the other responsibilities in life, we're gonna cover the principles of health hacking. And so we're gonna cover the most important principles for you to focus on and your approach to hacking your own health and energy uh, and the secrets ultimately to becoming an optimal health hacker. So let me go ahead and start us off right now on the whiteboard here. I'm gonna show you something that's kinda of helped a lot of my clients wrap their mind around kind of where they stand in their own health. Uh, again, there's an action guide that I'd love for you guys to download. It's in the chat box. So if you haven't downloaded that, make sure you check it out. Um, it'll really help you uh, like get the most out of this training over this next week, all three of these video trainings. Um, and so start off with tonight. And if you're watching the recording, feel free to go through the action guide as well. So the first thing I want to start off with here um, you know, welcome. I'm excited to have you guys here. And what I want to start you guys with is what I call the spectrum of wellness. Okay. The spectrum of wellness. All right. So the spectrum of wellness, you could really look at everything on a spectrum in terms of, um, you know, there's, there's kind of good, better, best, you know, there's always kind of, it, it look at it as health on a continuum. And so the spectrum of wellness allows us to kind of place ourselves and, and raise our hand and say, all right, this is where I'm at right now. And this is where I want to be. So there's typically three categories of the spectrum of wellness that I like to help people on uh, that, that makes the most um, uh, sense for them. And, and, and this is what those three are. So number one, Number one is survive. Number two is alive. And number three, where we're all wanting to head towards, um, at least most of us uh, do, if, if you don't, let me know, but is thrive. Number three is thrive. So, so we've got survive, alive, and thrive, one, two, three, three components, core categories of where one might stand on the spectrum of wellness. So here's a little graph we can think of. And if you wanna, if you wanna like say, for instance, if you wanna quantify it with a number, you know, you could say survive is at like a negative 10. Survive's at like negative 10. Alive is at a zero. So we're kind of alive is just kind of, and I'll get into what each of these kind of entail. And then thrive would be a full 10, a full 10 out of 10 um, operating 
on all cylinders in our lifestyle, okay? So the spectrum of wellness, um, survive, alive, and thrive. Uh, John, awesome. Uh, John Bowers has a comment here. Again, I'm gonna get into what these three categories look like, but John's chiming in here. Uh, because health on all levels is the foundation for potential. I love it. You want to enjoy life until the end and really bring it for myself and the people you care about. Uh, you're not willing to settle for living a mediocre life. That's, that's, uh, that's powerful to hear. I appreciate you sharing, John, uh, and just you know, the power of not settling and really going after the extraordinary life that you really desire. And, and so those, those are your own desires in your life. And so the spectrum of wellness um, is a great view for us to kind of ask ourselves, where do we fall? Where are we at right now in, our, in terms of our health? So I would encourage you right now to check in with yourself and, and um, you know, ask yourself where you might fall. And so here's a quick little overview. So, so number one we have over here is survive. So this is the negative 10. This is the survive. This is where, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people in our world are living they're 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 in a disease state they're in a poor health poor energy multifactorial like multiple issues in their tissues going on and you know they can you know uh they're, they're struggling they they've got they've got a lot of health issues and you know they they're not reaching their full potential and they may or may not know that uh and they're kind of barely just getting by like perhaps literally surviving. Um, uh, and, and so, so that's kind of like maybe the, the, the far end of the continuum um, where, where we don't necessarily want to be, but we might be in some respect. So that's survive. We're kind of barely surviving whatever it is we're going through. Uh, we might be in the hospital, might go to the ER, we might have a lot of bad chronic or acute diseases. Um, so that's, that's survive. Um, you could also look at survive in terms of like you're barely getting by in terms of your overall like energy and ability to kind of like make it through the day in terms of energy, depending on what you might be going through with adrenal fatigue or just low energy, and et cetera. So that's negative 10. That's survive. The next one is alive. Okay. So um, just because uh, just because you're alive doesn't mean you're fully living just because you are alive and you're breathing and your heart is beating, doesn't mean you're fully alive. It doesn't mean you're fully living life. So alive is kind of like, oh, maybe some symptoms of poor health and disease. Um, um, and maybe, maybe uh, you know, maybe, but maybe there's no symptoms at all. And maybe it's just kind of like mediocre. You're kind of in the middle. I put that as a zero. That's kind of like in the middle there. Um, so, um, so that is alive. So alive, again, is right in the middle. So we're either survive or alive or thrive or somewhere on the continuum. All right, so alive, you know, you might, you might be like existing in life. Things might, uh, you know, may or may not be going well for you. Um, and, and you're not fully at the thrive level right now. So there's still room for progress. Definitely room for progress. Um, so thrive, is number three. This is on a continuum uh, in the spectrum of wellness. Thrive is where we have the ability to live our life to the fullest. We're operating in all cylinders with our health, our energy, our relationships, our performance and our work, uh, our joy for life. We, you know, we have less stress, a better relationship with stress. And we're really able to, we, we've learned how to kind of transmute and transform stress into success. Uh, through a lifestyle built around thriving. And so that's, that's a lifestyle that we can live and, and really have the energy and the vitality to do what we want when we want to, um, whether it's wanting to hike a mountain or wanting to, you know, row our boat gently down the stream, you know, travel the world, <laughs> you know, uh, whatever it looks like for you. This might look like something different for each of you. But this is the spectrum of wellness survive or live or thrive. And I find it important for people to kind of take inventory on where they stand right now. So, so I'd ask yourself, where are you at on this continuum? You know, you, I, I would imagine you've got some good things going for you. You know, um, if you're a health hacker and a high performer, you obviously, you know, realize to some extent that your health is essential to help power your performance forward in life. Um, but where are you at? So, 
So where are you at? Negative 10 is survive, alive is zero, and thrive is 10. All right, and I find a lot of people to be, you know, somewhere, somewhere in this level, you know, somewhere around alive to thrive. They're somewhere in that continuum of like zero to 10. You know, if that's you, great, you're not alone. There's a lot of people in that zone. Um, and so wherever you're at now is wherever you're at now. And that's okay. We're able to set a baseline. You're able to start your self-coaching process to know where you're at now and know where you want to go. Okay, so maybe you're at, say, maybe you're at a five. Uh, maybe you've been at like, you know, let's say, maybe you've been at a three before, but you're at a five now and you've been making progress in your health overall, which is awesome. That's great. Um, that might be you. Um, maybe you're at a five now and you want to, you know, say move it towards the 10 uh, and, you know, make baby steps to get like seven or eight. That's great too as well. So um, wherever you're at is wherever you're at. And this is a great way to ask ourselves where we're at because we can't know where we want to go until we know where we're at now. Uh, and so living our life to our full potential requires us to set our lifestyle up for thriving. So that's what we're here to help you do. All right. So moving on, um, next I'm going to ask you guys to bust out your action guides. Um, so uh, I created this seven, it's a seven page PDF. Um, so check out your action guide. Again, it's linked in the chat box of the Zoom call. It's also linked. Uh, I'll link it now actually in the Facebook Live. I have some people asking about that. So I'd love to hear from you guys as well about what you thought about the spectrum of wellness. Uh, if you've ever gone through an exercise like that before, great. How is this different? Did something else come up for you? If you've never gone through it before, you know, what were your take home points? Where are you at? And where do you want to go? So that was the spectrum of wellness. I'm now going to uh, go ahead and share the next concept with you. Um, that is actually um, in the, so it's in the, uh, uh, it's in the action guide. So now we're getting into some concepts that I'm really here to help support you guys on and that you can go through inside of the action guide. All right, so number one, why are you here? All right, why are you here? What, you know, I already asked, you know, why is your health important to you? But in the action guide right now, we're gonna go over what I call the five P's of health hacking, okay? The five P's of health hacking. Again, this is page two of the action guide. Why are you here? We're gonna go through each of these five P's to take inventory. But these are the principles of building a resilient, healthy, high-performance lifestyle. So the five, P's of health hacking. All right, so those are the, the five P's. The five P's of health hacking are as follow. Number one, we'll just go through all of them. I'll just start writing them out. Uh, preparation is number one. Number two is prevention. Number three is performance. So the third P of health hacking is performance. So performance number three, two more. We got progress and then presence. Might be a little hard to read on the board here, but we got the five P's of health hacking that uh, really allow us to guide ourselves and, and build a foundation. Less, this lesson one here, to really build a, a high performance, healthy lifestyle, we've got to have a strong foundational system at place. So I created these five P's of health hacking based on my own lifestyle, my own work and behavior change. I highlight them inside of the book and right now is a chance for us to take inventory. So in the action guide, this is a great opportunity to really, you know, ask yourself. So number one, the first P of health hacking, preparation. You know, how well do we prepare for our days with our health in mind? What does that look like? Is there room for improvement in our preparation? Some examples might be, you know, preparing with our meals in advance, 
or preparing with your health in mind for traveling when you're starting to uh, embark on a trip or a work or vacation, um, or just simply scheduling mindfulness in your day. Uh, preparation is one of the top principles to focus on. Um, so what I'd encourage you guys to start to do um, right now with me here live um, and, and or in the recording is to take inventory. So on a scale of one to five, um, so on a scale of one to five, where do you fall? Where do you fall in terms of your uh, uh, level of um, focus as it relates to preparation? Okay, so preparation. That's number one. Number two, so you might be like a, like a three or a four. Maybe you're a five. You might be a two. I don't know. Somewhere between one to five. Go ahead and mark yourself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark myself right now. Um, I always like to say there's room for improvement. Um, uh, I feel like I do pretty well. Uh, I'm going to put myself at like a, a 4 to uh, 4.5 on preparation. Um, uh, so the next one is prevention. Number two is prevention. So on a scale, scale of 1 to 5, so prevention. How well do we make decisions in our health with prevention in mind? How well are we actually considering how what we put in our body, the actions and behaviors we take in our life, how they impact our life for the long haul? How can we prevent disease, sickness, et cetera, like a lower quality of life long term? And how can we prevent like brain fog and fatigue and low injury and, in, and, and in injury in itself um, in, our, in our present day? So prevention is the second P of health hacking. Scale of one to five, go ahead and rank yourself. Uh, I'll rank myself here. Uh, I'll put myself at uh, a four. Uh, number three, the next one is performance. So how will you connect the dots between your health impacts your performance? Okay, so how, we, how well do you make decisions with your performance in mind? You know, are you um, thinking about your decisions, your health behaviors and how they're impacting your work energy, your mental clarity, your ability to be successful in work and without burning out and without having too much stress. So that is the third P of health hacking. That's performance. Um, uh, so rank yourself on a scale of one to, one to, one to five. So the fourth one is progress. So how well do you focus and celebrate progress in your lifestyle? Uh, this is one that I love because it's very personal to me. Uh, I, as I shared in my book, kind of fell into perfection mindset a lot. I was a, a, a health coach in fitness uh, and, and fashion model in Miami, Florida, and I was focused on the physical body 100%. I had a lot of perfection and body image around how, how good I looked in the mirror, and that was what perfection looked like for me. Um, I also was like, I'd get down on myself if I'd ever like make bad, bad decisions in my health, whether it was like drink, drink, having a drink of alcohol or getting bad sleep uh, or like whatever it might be, uh, you know, prog progress, choosing progress over prevention is really our opportunity. It's a chance to really affirm ourselves about realizing how this is about sustainability. It's about the consistent ability for us to coach ourselves with progress in mind and allowing that perfection mindset to kind of settle a little bit and to always, always never forget about the power of celebrating our progress along the way. However big or small you might think it is, your progress will fuel your momentum. This is one of the best ways to build momentum and behavior change in your lifestyle is mastering progress. And then the last one is presence. So, um, so presence, it's about living in the now, right? So maintaining presence in our bodies and our minds allows us to live our life in a peaceful and powerful way. So presence, how, how present are we in our life right now? You know, on a scale of one to five, what, uh, is there opportunity for us? Go ahead and rank yourself and I'll rank myself as well.
So I went ahead and ranked myself. I gave myself a five for progress. Um, as I said, that's a big one for me. Uh, and as is presence, I'm about four and a half uh, for my, my uh, current view about where I lie in terms of my ability to live fully present with what is in my life. So those are the five P's of health hacking in review. These are the core principles that if you take inventory on these and see where you're at now and then build a plan and a lifestyle strategy over the coming weeks and months, you're able to then reflect along the way, say like two, three, four months from now to see where you've, you've been and see if you've been able to make changes. This is something I love sharing with my clients. They always love taking inventory on this. It's a great way to kind of check back in in terms of where is the opportunity for us to make progress in our life. And these five P's, again, in review, number one is preparation, two is prevention, three is performance, four is progress, and five is presence. Those are the five P's of health hacking. Um, and, and then we got Julie joining us. Hey, Julie, would love to hear from you. Share below about how the five P's of health hacking uh, like land for you and like uh, where you're at in terms of on a scale of one to five with five being the best um, and, and one being the least uh, in terms of how successful you are in each of these five areas. I'm guessing there's room for improvement, but one might be different than the other. So take your time and ask yourself this uh, and score yourself. And then um, uh, this can be something you can come back to in the future after you've made changes and focus on each of these five Ps to see if you've uh, made any progress in your scoring. So uh, typically what I find is that people, like why are you here right now? I asked you that earlier. Typically it's one of these five Ps, maybe two of them that stand out to you the most uh, in terms of like, like which one is most important for you that you're really missing out on. You know, maybe you're not preparing at all in your lifestyle and there's a, there's a big opportunity for preparation. Uh, maybe you, you know, you've thought about prevention, but you haven't acted on prevention too much. So maybe it's prevention for you in terms of, um, really wanting to be there for your kids or for your future business and the adventures that you want to experience in life, uh, performance, your ability to perform and work, uh, and, and just in life overall, uh, progress, and presence, not choosing um, perfection, but choosing progress over perfection, and then maintaining and cultivating the presence-based lifestyle. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, excited to hear how you guys enjoy the five P's of health hacking. So, next up here. All right, so we've covered, we've covered the core principles. We've gone over the spectrum of wellness. We kind of understand, like, why are you here? This is your chance to kind of build your motivation. I like to say inside of the book, your motive means everything. I think that's actually a chapter in one of, the, one of the titles of the chapter about defining your why. Your motive means everything. Um, so after, you, after you've really kind of started to reflect on that, I want to highlight now what we tend to find uh, in terms of people's lifestyles about when they get excited about making change and improvement, they sometimes rush the change, okay? So we're gonna take our time here. Lesson one is about the principles. It's the foundational building blocks. These are the essential tools that will set you up for success, not just in the short term, but the long term of your future lifestyle. And that's why I'm here to help you not rush the change. This is about sustainability. I'm now gonna cover for you guys um, some of the essential aspects of building uh, sustainable healthy habits that matter. So that's the subtitle of the book, Building Healthy Habits That Matter. Um, so, uh, and this is, this is stuff that uh, uh, I really enjoy because um, it just makes sense, uh, you know, going about change in a sustainable way, uh, but we can be really strategic about it. So that's what we get to do to get together as a group. So, um, so sustainability with behavior change. Have you guys ever been there before when you've gotten like super excited about trying something new out or, or making a new change in your lifestyle and you know, you, you, you get so excited and, and you, maybe, maybe you're changing, you're pulling certain foods out of your diet and you're, you're bringing new foods in, uh, or you're starting to move more 
you're starting to have more mindfulness and breathing routines and like stretching routines in your lifestyle. Uh, and you, 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 you know, a week, two, three weeks in, you know, you get burnout, you get tired and you're like, Oh shit, I tried to do too much too soon. This is the problem with most new year's resolutions. The approach towards, um, doing too much too fast is where a lot of people make mistakes in their lifestyle. And so what we're here to do is to really build uh, and, and, and understand the science, the actual real art and science of behavior change to actually coach ourselves to sustainable health. All right, so we're gonna teach you now the process of change so that you, as you look to change something, you don't create too much stress around the change it's sustainable so you can be more successful uh, and have more fun along the way. Does that sound good? All right, I see some thumbs up, I see some comments. Um, awesome, sweet, sweet. So here we go, so let's, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, I wanna share with you what's called the five stages of change. There are five stages of change and I'm gonna highlight them for you here and then we're gonna go through each of them and kind of reflect on, um, you know, maybe where some behaviors of our own lifestyle kind of fall within these. So the five stages of change. For the record, context for you guys that don't know a whole lot about me and my background, I had a chance to not just become a health coach and go through lots of health coach trainings, work with clients, but I've also been a, an avid like researcher and studier of behavior change. I actually uh, uh, had a chance to work for a health care organization, a health coach training organization called the Clinical Health Coach, uh, one of the best health coach trainings out there, um, the best for communication, for sustainable behavior change. They... Um, that, that's where I had a chance to really dissect and understand why people change and how they change. And so a big part of that comes from understanding the five stages of change. Um, and number one, number one is pre-contemplation. All right. So pre-contemplation is number one. This is when we are, this is the stage where we might be contemplating, like start, like even like we're not quite ready to take action. We're not close to taking action at all in a particular area. And we're not intending to change it quite yet. But that idea is on our mind. You know, it's, it's like we're, we're kind of, it's, it's, we're just maybe wanting to start to contemplate we're, we're considering maybe what's possible, but we're not near action yet. It's, it's on our mind and it's not important enough for us to take action on yet. Stage two is actual contemplation. So this is when, this is where preparation um, um, gets its fuel, okay? So you can't prepare without like contemplating and thinking. And so you could look at that in terms of contemplating being preparative, uh, but contemplation is actually getting ready, you're warming up the engine. Okay, so that's, that's stage two, that's contemplation. Stage three, we're, we're getting closer to action. Now stage three is preparation. Okay, so this, this is one of the five P's of health hacking as well. Um, so you can see how it's pretty valuable. The third stage of change is preparation. This is the stage where you are, you're, you're ready. You're, you're, you're intending to make this change that's on your mind in the next maybe few weeks or the next month. And you're really just starting to, really wanting to cross your T's and dot your I's. All right, this is the phase that uh, a lot of people like will miss out on and they'll rush straight to the action. But like preparation is a phase where you can actually start to ask yourself, what does success look like for me in the future? All right, so that's stage three. Stage four, we move into action. That's when we are actually engaging in this new habit, this new behavior, 
for less than six months typically it's typically you know anywhere between a few weeks to like four five six months um, that is stage four uh, that is action typically a lot of people again like to rush to change and go straight into action so don't hesitate to slow yourself down and ask yourself, okay, all right, so these, there's actually phases before action that are really important to build the foundation. So, and once you do that, and you know that you're ready to take action, you can do just that. And so the action is a great, great uh, phase. It's an essential phase for behavior change um, in terms of actually trying something new. Uh, and it's, you know, you probably have a lot of things that are on your mind that you want to take action on in your own lifestyle. So think and consider maybe what habits that you have right now that you've been trying out recently that are new for you. Those come in the stage of action. Uh, those are new. So stage five, our final five of the five stages of change is maintenance. Okay, maintenance. Um, number five. is maintenance all right so this is where you've built this new habit or behavior as an actual habit all right you've been engaging in this for more than six months um and you feel that you're pretty solid with it this this new routine this new aspect of your lifestyle is pretty solid so maintenance for like for me for instance uh, over the last few years, I've been focused on like hacking my relationship with light. So this is kind of like uh, an alternative, not really talked about too much in the health and fitness world. Um, so you might be wondering why I'm wearing these glasses, which they are lightly tinted with yellow. Um, there you can see, uh, I had it hold it up against the video there, um, compared to the other. So it's lightly tinted. These are meant to be worn during the day. It's easier to see out of them. Um, then I have blue, so these are called blue blockers, okay? Uh, so that's one way to hack light. Ha another way to hack light is sunlight, optimal relationship with sun, getting great sun in the morning specifically and in the afternoon and the evening specifically. So sunrise and sunset. I'll explain more about the science of the sun, receiving the sun later. Uh, and then also this red light that I'm receiving right here. I'll talk about this later too, full spectrum near infrared sun or, or near infrared light that mimics the sun. So these are all my ways of hacking light. And I've been doing them for a few years. So I'm still kind of in action, but I'm also in maintenance on a lot of them. Like sunlight first thing in the morning is like, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a habit for me. I've been engaging in it for a while. And so I'm in maintenance for that. So those are the five stages of change. So have you been there before when you're rushing through change and you find yourself after a few weeks, you're kind of burnt out and you're confused and you're overwhelmed? Well, the five stages of change is your secret. It's the best, like one of the top models for sustainable behavior change that you get to coach yourself in. Uh, note, it's important to apply this model to specific areas of your health, such as movement, nutrition, rest, or sleep, and not just like your health in general. So again, think specific areas of your health and behaviors. So now that we've actually had a chance to talk about the actual stages of change, our next opportunity is to learn how we can actually apply this model to our actual lifestyle okay so um now we can start to take it to the next level and really reflect some more on our own lifestyle does that sound good cool awesome so now we're going to share uh, i'm going to share with you guys um and I, and 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 first off don't don't rush through this you know, take your time. If you want to talk to some people that are close to you about the five stages of change model, um, you know, about how it resonated with you and like what you learned about yourself, any of this stuff, don't hesitate. Um, please share in the Facebook group. Um, you can come in here live if you'd like, but uh, otherwise you can reach out to me personally. I understand if you don't necessarily want to share publicly, um, that's cool. Our health is personal. Um, I'm here for you, so don't hesitate to reach out. So we've gone through the spectrum of wellness, the five P's of health hacking, and now we've really explored the five stages 
of change as well. All right, so I like the I like the number five. Um, so now, uh, again, a lot of this stuff you get you get to follow along with in the action guide that I prepared for you. So the health hacker self coaching questionnaire is next. This is what you will find on page four, I believe, of the. Uh, of the action guide, I'm gonna turn off the blue, uh, off that red light. I'm getting kind of warm over here, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know I don't want to sweat too much. <laughs> so uh, the health hacker self coaching questionnaire is what we're going to go through now. And so for this one, I'm actually gonna share my screen, um, and and show you exactly what this looks like in the uh, in the in the action guide. All right, so um, can you guys see my screen? Awesome. So I know Wayne, welcome to the call, Wayne. I think I've seen you on. Uh, welcome to the Zoom call, great to have you. Uh, we'd love to hear from you if you wanna share a little bit about how this is resonating with you so far um, and what's come up. So uh, now, if you guys can see my screen, this is the action guide. This is where, this is where things get really exciting. Uh, we get a chance to dive deeper into our own lifestyle and actually, leverage some of the principles of health coaching for self-coaching in our own lifestyle. I believe that some of the biggest secret sauce to like make an effect on healthcare and actually help us have better self-care in our own life is to not just have more health coaches out there working with people like myself. I'm a big fan of really building your team with the right coach, doctor, support team overall, um, for all the different areas of your health. Um, but I'm also important, like at the end of the day, you are your own expert. Um, we don't lack the health experts in the world. I believe we lack the self experts. And so this self coaching questionnaire is a chance for you to do just that. Be the expert in your own health. All right. So number one, what is going well for you in your health right now? This is question one. Go ahead and reflect on it. Go ahead and maybe handwrite or type it, uh, or just think about it. Um, but either way, ask yourself, what's going well for me and my health right now? Name one or a few areas. Um, and so this question, why do we ask this question? This question will help you affirm yourself before you go to improve yourself. So often, I believe that we find ourselves living and get wrapped up inside of this self-improvement movement, okay? The self-improvement movement in our world is everywhere. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve yourself or become a better, healthier, more productive version of yourself, happier, et cetera, more joy, more experiences, more bliss. But if we always focus on improving and not approving and acknowledging ourselves, we lose out on the value uh, and the secret sauce of really making progress on our health. This is the first of the several questions that are literally the top questions to ask based on the science of motivational interviewing, which is the most evidence-based way to communicate with someone to support them with behavior change. This question right here is typically the one we lead off with. So this, these are the health coaching questions we're democratizing for you to apply in your own lifestyle. Okay, so number one, what's going well for you in your health right now? Number two, what areas of your health are you most interested in working on or exploring? Which areas of your health are you most interested in working on or exploring and why? Why are these areas of your health important to you? So this allows you to kind of engage and start to maybe focus a little bit in on like, all right, what are the top areas that are actually on my mind that I'm interested in? So number three is why now? Why is now a good time for you to start taking action in these areas of your health? Or go ahead, again, write this down, type it out, think about it, share it with those that you're around. Maybe you live with, maybe you have a roommate or a, a partner or a family member, a friend or a colleague that you're around today or over the next few days and uh, go through this process yourself, but then share this with others. I'd love to hear from you as well. So in the Facebook group, you can share what this self-coaching questionnaire was like for you. 
Uh, but this last question allows us to zero in on really not just thinking about change, but having a plan of action and building the importance. So why? Why is now the good time for you to start taking action in these areas? And it might not be, right? But you've already shared before that this is an area that you're interested in exploring on. And so this next question helps you to kind of take that coaching to the next level. This is a hack to move through the five stages of change. Okay? So, all right. So why is now a good time for you to start taking action in these areas of your health? Uh, and this can be any area that you feel drawn to. So go ahead, reflect on this, share it. And now we're going to take it to the next level even more. Okay, so this is what I call the four quadrant model of smart behavior change. Okay, I'm all about building smart, mindful health hackers in this world. So if you're down for that, uh, strap in, let's go for a ride here. This is the most powerful way that you can prioritize and list out the habits or behaviors you're interested in focus on, focusing on. This is the top way to prioritize. I just gave a talk at a healthcare conference in San Francisco two days ago, this past Sunday. And I led people through this exercise, this four quadrant model for smart behavior change. And the, how they responded, the feedback, some of the people there that actually did this process, they're like, wow, didn't realize like, this was really helpful. I really needed the help to prioritize change. So what do these four quadrants look like? I'm going to have a sip of my kombucha here, and then I'm going to tell you. Box number one. Box number one is start doing. I'm going to put them on here as well. So box one is start doing. These are the items, the ideas, the behaviors, the um, habits that you want to start doing in your lifestyle that you're not currently doing right now, okay? The next box, box two, box two is stop doing. What are those, what are those habits, what are those uh, aspects of your lifestyle, those behaviors, et cetera, that, uh, that you're doing now that you'd really like to stop doing altogether? So um, what, what do you wanna stop doing? that relates to your health. So these first two boxes, start doing and stop doing, this is the black and white of behavior change. This is like the cut and dry, black and white, like I'm gonna start this on this day and this is gonna be new and I'm doing this. And then you've got the list of items you're gonna stop doing. Those, those are, that's black and white. But to invite a little opportunity for gray because sometimes it's important to kind of consider that not everything's always black and white, we have a chance to also consider the other two boxes. So box number three is do more of, okay? So box three is do more. What's something in your life that you're doing now? Maybe it's meditation, maybe it's going in nature, maybe it's uh, reading, maybe it's moving your body, uh, eating healthier, trying intermittent fasting, blocking blue light, but you want to do more of. You're not doing enough of it. Maybe it's sleep. Um, so what do, you, what do you want to do more of that you're currently doing right now? That's box three. And then box four is do less, okay? So what are you doing now that, that's not horrible, you don't want to completely get rid of, but you just want to do less of it? that you want to do less of it, okay? So that's do less. This, this process, if you actually do this process in your lifestyle, right here, right now, as you're watching this video, and you stick to it, and you ask yourself how you can convert this into an action-based new behavior in your lifestyle, this process will help you prioritize and create sustainable, effective change for what actually matters to you. This is all about what matters to you in your lifestyle, not me. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'll guide you, and we all have lots of themes that we'll get into, 
Um, my clients that I'm working with now, um, I've got five guys that I'm working with now that, that are using this and they love it. And every talk I give, I try to incorporate this in. Um, this will help you zero in on prioritizing your behaviors. And it's something you can do on a monthly or quarterly basis and like do it once and then like have action items and like start to carry those action items into your lifestyle. And then maybe two, three months later, you can reflect and be like, okay, what's new now? What, uh, how's my lifestyle changed? And go through this exercise again because it will allow you to check in with yourself, maybe on a quarterly basis, and refocus, recommit, and re-coach yourself. Uh, I got my puppy in the background barking away. He's getting his, he's getting his second dinner. He did eat, but you can feed him maybe a little bit more. Um, <laughs> so that's the four quarter model of smart behavior change, okay? And it's smart because it's not just black and white, it's also focusing on the gray, okay? So moving on, um, so on the action guide, you can actually, as I'm sharing my screen, you can follow along uh, and, actually, and actually go through the action guide. There's, there's a spot right here as I'm sharing my screen where you can actually fill this out. Um, and uh, don't hesitate to share about your experience. Uh, you can share in the Facebook group. I'd love to hear from you uh, or in the chat box or reach out to me personally. So that is the self-coaching questionnaire to radically help you prioritize behavior change in your lifestyle. The next, the last kind of, uh, we've been making a lot of progress, so we're 52 minutes in to tonight's live lesson, and I just want to hit pause. I want to hit pause right now. I'll stop sharing my screen. Um, we've gone through a lot. Uh, again, not too much, though. These are the foundational building blocks to really help you build a smarter approach to behavior change and to help you hack holistically. And so when I say holistically, uh, I mean physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So those four categories are being the framework for us as we consider how we define success. So how you hack your health can hurt you. And the most important thing you can do is really take your time and leverage, leverage some great concepts like the four quarter model, for smart behavior change, the five stages of change, and the five P's of health hacking. Um, and so the next thing I wanted to really touch on now is what are those mistakes that we sometimes make in our lives? Now, I've been guilty of them before, and you know, uh, my, my, my clients really, really dig this because I've matched the, the, the mistakes with the secrets. So there's three mistakes I find that sometimes we'll make as busy, high performers in our lifestyle. And I've got three secrets to help correspond with those mistakes to help you prevent making these same mistakes. So let me go ahead and clean off this whiteboard uh, and then I will uh, share what these mistakes and secrets look like for you. All right, I'm, uh, we got some great comments coming in. Uh, I love it. Uh, people are digging this. I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, at the end of the day, like, um, we have the opportunity to take our health to the next level. And, and these are just simple practices that can really make a big difference. So, all right. Top three mistakes that high performers make in their health. Number one. Number one is they try to do it alone, all on their own. Um, this is mistake number one. I've been there before. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have agency and ownership of your own lifestyle um, and really taking your health in your own hands. I'm all about that. And I think there's a lot that we can do on our own. And to fully make the biggest difference in our health and energy and, and longevity for the long haul, building our, a powerful team uh, and leveraging the power of community can go a long, long way. Okay, so number one, you try to do it all alone. Um, number two, you don't start at all because you think you're too busy. 
So mistake number two that most high performers make is that they don't start or take action at all because they think they're too busy and they're overwhelmed. Okay? Don't start because too busy. Have, have you ever been there before? I, I, I'm kind of uh, laughing a little bit because it's, it's the excuse I hear all, often um, from high performers, entrepreneurs, those with busy lifestyles and careers at work and family is that they're too busy. They've got too much on their plate. Uh, is that you? Have you been there before where you've used that excuse that you, uh, you don't get started uh, on something new because you're too busy, you're too overwhelmed? If, if so, that's okay. That's fine. It is a, it is a mistake that people make um, if it's chronic and, and takes a while and don't, they don't ever get started, um, but it's something that can be hacked. Um, so, and I'll share the secret on that in a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a great one. Uh, and then number three, the third mistake that high performers typically make in their health is they go for the all or nothing perfection over progress approach. So perfection, we'll say perfection greater than progress. Okay, so the perfection over progress. This is this is when people. This goes back to the the five P, the, the P of health hacking and progress over perfection. Um, this is the one where, you know, a lot of times, you know, people will get burnt out, you know, and go too hard too quickly, or have a mindset of perfection and and not even get started uh, because they're too perfect. This is the third P. This is the third mistake. The high performers typically making their health. It's that all or nothing perfection mindset approach. Okay, so those are the three mistakes. That and there might be a few more. If you think if you can think of some in your own lifestyle, uh, I'd love to, to hear from you as well. Um, but the, to match these three mistakes, uh, I'm here to support you with actually looking at. All right, so what are the actual secrets? What are the secrets that we can leverage in our lifestyle? All right. Uh, again, if you're on the Facebook Live, uh, the recording, um, hit the Zoom link. We are in the next uh, next few minutes. We're going to take down the Facebook Live, um, and the rest of the recording will be in the Zoom link, uh, so you can watch it live. So go ahead and hit the, the that link now. Uh, I am going to share the start to share the three secrets, uh, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll take down the uh, the Facebook Live. Um, so. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the Zoom link and join us live right now. Uh, love to have you. So those are the three mistakes. You try to do it all on your own. You don't get started because you think you're too busy or you focus on the all or nothing perfection over progress. So what are those three secrets? What are those tactics that will actually help you overcome these mistakes and nearly guarantee your success? The three secrets to becoming an optimal smart health hacker in your lifestyle are as follows. Secret number one, it's all about community if you want to make a real impact. It's all about building your team to focus on customization if you want optimization. So the power of community and team. So number one is all about it's all about community and building your team so that's secret number one this is the one that helps you overcome the challenge of doing it all on your own why would we want to try to do something all on our own if we can leverage the power of community to help support us to be successful you know if, if true success is what we desire, then stacking the deck in our favor helps us to guarantee that we're successful. And that's where community comes in. That's why I love, I love like supporting people with learning how they can, you know, reach out to those around them, their friends, their colleagues, their family. Yes, those are all great. Those are sources of community and support. And through our community, the Health Hacker Club, uh, through the six-week Health Hacker Formula, Group Coaching, and Mastermind Program, 
High Performance uh, Health Hacking Mastermind. We're going to be kicking off um, uh, starting November 5th, right after these three live trainings. That is what I'm here to bring you guys if you desire community and next level support for people that actually care about their own health and performance and care about helping others in the process. Because we all, if we have the mindset of helping others and taking care of ourselves, we can all focus on helping ourselves and others and be supported along the way. So that's what uh, this book club and this community building around the book, The Art of Health Hacking, has really started to, to kind of take off. And I'm just uh, so grateful to be able to kind of cultivate this opportunity for people to leverage the power of community as well as building their team. So building a really all-star healthcare team, um, that's some next level stuff that I love to share. We'll get into it inside of the mastermind, uh, the Health Hacker Formula course. But that's secret number one. Uh, it's all about community and building your team. All right, secret number two, boom, number two, is understanding the formula to save time and money along the way. All right, so there's a specific formula. I mentioned the Health Hacker Formula. That's the name of the mastermind. And so in a second after I get through the third secret, I'm going to actually share with you the formula and what that actually looks like for you guys to apply in your lifestyle for sustainable, optimal health behavior change. All right, so number two, understanding the formula to save time and money along the way. Time and money, two precious resources. We're going to save time by focusing on the right formula. Understand the formula and secret number three Secret number three for you guys is cycling your habits to focus on progress and not perfection So cycling your habits, the principle of cycling is something I love teaching and living actually in my own lifestyle. This will take you so far. It's, it's all about uh, progress. Cycling is, ha has progress built into it and allows you to just um, take a break and not always have to do the same thing. We can get caught up in routine. And if we don't do the same routine, we can wrong ourselves and get uh, overwhelmed and have negative self-talk and just uh, overall just not feel as confident about it. Um, so cycling your habits. So I'm going to teach, I'm going to be teaching all about the principle of cycling uh, inside of the Health Hacker Formula Mastermind. Um, and, and so that is the third secret is to focus on the principle of cycling your habits, focus on progress, not perfection. So which of these three mistakes do you make the most in your health? And how can these three secrets truly support you in your journey? That's what I encourage you to reflect on right now. How can these three secrets help support you in your own personal health hacking journey? So reflect. Go ahead. Use the action. The action guide is great for this. Um, so is the Facebook group. Um, so that, that, uh, that we've, we've gotten through a lot here. All right. So these three secrets, these are the secrets that are going to take you long, long ways to help you be successful. Um, so, so really take your time here and ask yourself, like, you know, which of these three uh, could really support you the most? Um, maybe it's one, maybe it's a few, maybe it's all of them. And uh, now, now I'm going to actually teach and share exactly what this formula looks like. Okay, so the formula, the health hacker formula. Uh, I'm going to share exactly this phase, this, this formula that will help you, this, this model for health hacking, help you save time and money while still making great progress along the way. I had a pause for station identification. All right, so you guys ready for this? All right, here we go. 
This is the last core concept of lesson one. We're a little over an hour now, and I promise we'll finish in the next uh, 20 minutes. So uh, here we go. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Okay, all right. So the Health Hacker Formula is not just the name of a six-week uh, group mastermind program I'm leading, uh, but it's also a process. It's a, it's a real formula. It's a, it's a model. It's a, it's a three-step phase, actually. It's a three-step process that is the formula for taking action, preparing for action, taking action, and then reflecting on the action. I like to think that any activity or behavior or habit has a beginning, middle, and an end. And oftentimes, we miss out on at least one or a few of those, whether it's the beginning or the end. And so this three-phase, this three-step process called the Health Hacker Formula has three, three phases. And phase number one, and they're all designed to take you through a beginning to prepare, a middle to actually do the habit, and then uh, an end to actually reflect and recover. All right, so the, the three phases, I'll just name them right now, are activate, elevate, and integrate. Okay, so health hacker formula, phase number one is activate, phase one is activate, activate is where you're warming up your engines. Okay, this is where you're taking inventory and you may be starting to take a little bit of action. All right, um, so that's activate. Phase number two is elevate. So yes, uh, my brand and companies elevate your state. And so elevate is really, uh, what it means is really to take it to the next level. So to actually perform the activity. Elevate is where you can actually customize and optimize your own lifestyle for high performance. So phase two is elevate. Phase three is, last but not least, certainly not least, one of the, more, one of the phases and steps that, that is missing often, to be honest. Uh, phase three, step three, is the one that helps us to reflect on our experience and really recover. It's, and it's so important because it allows us to learn from our experience and prepare for our next experience. Step three, phase number three, is integrate. Integrate, my friends. Integrate is where it's at. And uh, so now I'm gonna briefly highlight each of these phases for you guys. Uh, again, this is called the Health Hacker Formula. This is the formula, the model, the process that actually takes the five stages of change, the five P's of health hacking, um, and uh, an overall model for us to, to take and make success in our lifestyle. This is the one that works. I've been following this in my own lifestyle within my programs with clients and their lifestyle and they're digging it. So it's, it's really helpful. So phase number one, um, let's get into it. Um, I, I guess before I get into the phases, it's important to note that this six week mastermind that I'm leading starting November 5th, um, and I'll share more details on it later and throughout each of these live trainings, um, that six week mastermind that is based on the Health Hacker formula. So phase one of Activate is the first two weeks of the Health Hacker formula. Um, so the first two weeks is phase one. So we're taking inventory and taking action. I'll go ahead and share my screen and actually show you what this looks like. I, I drew this up, it's in the action guide. So if you haven't checked out the action guide, make sure you do. Um, this is where I detail the aspects of each of the phase. This is the formula to help you save time and money and less stress along the way. So activate is taking inventory and taking action. We've done a lot of inventory on tonight's live call. 
Um, this first lesson was a chance for you to really reflect and start to do some self-coaching in your own lifestyle to really set a baseline and understand where you're at now and you know what are the habits and overall motivations in your life that you're interested in focusing on. That's taking inventory. And it's also helping you to create clarity around your goals and desires of where you want to go with your health and lifestyle in the future. This is, this is activate. This is really about warming up. We're activating and turning on our mindset and our approach towards better health. This is, this is phase one, activate. We're also going to be focusing on the fundamentals. So um, I, anytime when you're getting started with a new healthy habit, Focusing on the fundamentals and having um, those types of habits be the ones that you focus on are so important. Uh, getting started with those simple and small steps, small action items, uh, fundamental areas to really warm up your engine and start experimenting with high leverage healthy habits. That's what I like to call them, high leverage healthy habits. So some of these include more mindful breathing, uh, relationship with sunlight, and blue light, smart hydration. What does real hydration look like? Um, you know, uh, and nutrition, etc. Those are some of the fundamental areas to focus on. That's where we can take a little bit of action and activate phase one. And the behavior change phase involved in this, there's three of them, contemplation, preparation, and action. These are the three phases involved. So each of these phases of the health hacker formula incorporates the phases of behavior change. Okay, and so I've just created three because it's, it's easier, it's got a beginning, middle, and end, and uh, allows you to make more progress quicker, um, but still in a sustainable way. So, so there you have it, that's Activate, that's phase one, the first two weeks of the health hacker formula will be on phase one. The second, two, the second set of uh, weeks, uh, weeks three and four, phase two is elevate, all right? So, so elevate, this is where we can really customize and optimize our approach, all right? Uh, you know, think of elevating as actually performing a behavior activity. Uh, this is where you can really start to track your health hacks. And in our next lesson, we'll be getting into tracking and stacking specifically some ways to really help elevate your state in a quicker, more impactful way. Uh, but tracking your actual habits and, and measuring your behaviors is what we'll focus on in weeks three or four of the Health Hacker Formula. Um, and like why is, and we'll get into why tracking is so helpful, so important. Um, but it's taking intentional action um, aligned with your personal desires and goals. Um, so it's so you nearly guarantee your success. So phase two also has, we'll, we'll be exploring in the Health Hacker Formula, help you building your ideal day. So the Health Hacker Formula works into a stage of your life. So I already shared the six week, so two weeks for each phase. You can also use the Health Hacker Formula on a daily basis. So we're gonna help you build your ideal day to really start customizing your daily routine. So morning, afternoon, and evening will be Activate, elevate, and integrate. All right? So activate, elevate, integrate works the same way for your morning, afternoon, and evening routine. Okay? So we're going to help you build your ideal day so you can design a healthy hustle lifestyle with intention. And so that's where the health hacker formula can come into play. Um, uh, focus on flow inside of phase two, elevate. We're also going to, like, high performance can really be taken to the next level, smart, healthy, high performance can, when you leverage the power of flow states. So flow states, these are states where you both feel and perform your best. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna break these down inside of the, the six week mastermind, but this is really, when you're able to focus on flow, time passes and it's easier for you to make impactful work and, and make an impact and get great work done um, in a less stressful way. So this is where you can take your health and performance higher um, inside of your working day and practice listening to your body so you know when to take a break and to take a breath. Um, take a break and take a breath. That's, uh, that's uh, one of the concepts I talk about in the book. Um, 
and just right now, actually, I'll show, I'll share with you the quickest way for you to take a break and take a breath. Um, if you have one hand, you don't need two. You can use two if you want, but all you need is one. This is called the alternate nostril breathing session. Um, so I'll just share it with you right now. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to just tap into the body and like in the breath and bring more conscious intention to the breath. So you inhale, you plug one nostril with your thumb. So I'm plugging my right nostril and I'm breathing through my other nostril. Inhale up that one and then you close that one and then you exhale out the one you originally had closed. And then you inhale back up that one. Exhale out the other one. So this is an alternate nostril breathing exercise that really changes how oxygen floods through the brain and the body and allows both hemispheres to be activated and for your body and your nervous system to relax. All right, so that's, that's a, a quick little um, breathing hack and maybe we'll, maybe we'll kick off our next call with a little mindfulness breathing exercise at the beginning. Um, so um, next, to, to finish phase two, behavior change uh, phase involved is preparation and action. Okay, lots of action involved, of course, in, in the elevate phase. So the last phase, integrate. Last but not least, this is where we have a chance to reflect and recover. Think of integrate as being your evening, maybe, on a daily basis. In the evening, how are you going to integrate on your day and reflect on your experiences? It can also be, you know, it'll be the last two weeks of the Health Hacker formula. We'll really integrate and reflect on the last four weeks the last month of change that we've been making in our lifestyle. Um, this, is, this is the best way to do it, my friends. Um, so integrate allows you to examine your new healthy habits uh, and, and really bring them into your new identity of who you are now and who you are becoming into the future, all right? So it's a good chance for us to focus on recovery, leveraging self-care items such as sleep, rest, relaxation, hot, cold contrast therapy, whether it's warm Epsom salt bath or cold showers, uh, as well as sauna therapy and uh, lots, of, lots of great hacks, uh, intermittent fasting for recovery. Um, so we'll share all of those uh, inside of the Health Hacker Formula coaching program set to launch November 5th. That, uh, that's the end. That's, that's, that's what we got for you today. This highlights step three, phase three of the Health Hacker Formula is integrate. So there you have it. You've got the three phases of the health hacker formula. This is the smart way to hack your health holistically. Learn from me. Take these models, these principles, learn them, reflect on them in your life, and start to coach yourself and ask yourself, what else is possible in your lifestyle? This is our chance to come together as a community, as a group, and not just be on our own little island, you know, uh, trying to make change in our lifestyle, but to join a group of people that really care really, really care about health optimization and better performance, not just for themselves, but for everyone. This is, this is the secret. You know, this is one of the three secrets. It's leveraging the power of community. So I'm really grateful that you've been here with us today, whether you're watching live or on the recording. We've had dozens of dozens of people commenting and liking and, and, and sharing their experience so far. And we'd love to hear from you as well if we haven't yet. So your next action items here uh, number one, we've got a Health Hacker Manifesto PDF for you. So in the action guide, if you'll go ahead and click right here, this will pull up our newly created Health Hacker Manifesto. All right? So this is a one-page PDF I created for you guys to really like use as a reminder in your own lifestyle about what it means to be a high performer, what it means to be a health hacker. A health hacker, as you see here, is a new breed of high performer smarter, stronger, resilient, and free. And so read through this. Uh, it's all about using your health and energy as an asset, not relying on a sick care system, um, et cetera, et cetera. So there are eight core beliefs and values here that we highlight inside of the Health Hacker Manifesto. This PDF is for you to use in your own life. So read through it. If it resonates with you, awesome. Print it off. Uh, you can print black and white or, cop or, or, or color. Um, 
and then you can write your name at the bottom. So right here, there's a, there's a box for you to write your name down. Your name is blank and you are a health hacker. I shared these with, this with my clients recently and um, uh, my private clients and they're putting this up on their, their fridge and their office, just all over. Wherever you wanna be reminded of what it means to be a health hacker. So check out that PDF, it's linked here in the action guide. Um, and share what came up for you. The next action item, share what came up for you in the four quadrant model for the smart health behavior change inside of our Elevate Your State Facebook group. So right here, go to the Facebook group, also where we were, where we were book clubbing the book earlier this year. So check it out. Um, and, and we will start a post here where you can share what came up for you inside the four quadrant model and what you're actually interested in trying to change in your lifestyle. And then the third action item for you, your next step is to uh, mark your calendars. We're going to be doing lesson two. Lesson two will be Thursday night, October 25th, two nights from tonight. This will be a very similar length of training, about an hour and a half. Uh, we'll kick it off at 7 p.m. Central Time at the same length that we joined here on tonight's call. So there we have it, my friends. Uh, feel free to reflect on everything that we went through um, inside of the action guide and on this live call. Share this with friends or family, colleagues. I got some hiccups here as I'm finishing. Um, but know that we're here for you. And, and this was lesson one. This, these are the foundational principles. These are the building blocks that will help build long-term sustainable behavior change success for you and your lifestyle. We're gonna really leverage the, the fundamentals with the cutting edge uh, over the next um, few trainings. We've got two more trainings, two more trainings coming at you, uh, and two more action guides, so be on the lookout. And if you wanna make sure you're on the, the, the list to receive those, the, the community, um, go ahead and reach out to me personally or comment uh, on here with your email address. But we've got, yeah, two more lessons. So the next one is about uh, habit tracking and stacking. And uh, the third one is about your own personal path, what the next three, six, 12 months will look like for you in designing your optimal healthy lifestyle. So this free training masterclass is to really celebrate the launch of my book and to help you all start to learn about what's possible in your health. Um, and at the end of it, we're gonna open up the cart and I'm gonna be inviting you guys to join us in this six week mastermind. So we're gonna have 20 people, I'm capping at 20, two zero, two zero spots in the Health Hacker Formula Coaching Program starting November 5th. And this coming Monday, at the end of our third training, will be your opportunity to, uh, to join in on that. So uh, hopefully this resonated with you and I can't wait to hear about your big take homes. Uh, and I'm excited, delighted to have you a part of our community. So keep up the great progress. Um, TJ Anderson here, gonna be signing off. Um, again, if you want better health, less stress, uh, sustainable energy without losing focus on your work, business, or family life, you got to understand and work the principles and the formula for smart, optimal health behavior change. All right, my friends, we'll see you in the next lesson. Peace out.